burning down pretty good now. It's wasted all this time and effort. Let's give this another shot. Hello, welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill, glad you could join me. Today I'm spraying Herculiner. Stay tuned. Alright, so what I'm doing here today, I have a lot of rock chips up here in the front. And this vinyl trim on the sides is kind of kind of dinged up car doors and stuff being opened into it and then the back bumper yeah, the usual little bits of cosmetic damage I've already taken the tail lights out and then down the side over here so what I decided to do uh, there's too much red on this Jeep and I want to kind of break it up and uh, I've already swapped the mirrors out for the other the stock ones were kind of beat up and they were red and one of them wasn't working so these are powered and heated I, I found online I had to wire them into the, the harness to get them to work so what I'm going to do is today this is the plan. I'm gonna paint the trim just from here to here. I'm gonna leave the rocker panel red and I'm gonna mirror glaze everything later. Bring a little shine out so I think that'll look pretty good. Um, if I have enough Herculiner left over I'm gonna blow a little into the wheel wells. I'm also thinking, I've never seen anybody do this before, but I'm going to stripe around here so it flows. And this will be Herculine here, right up to this, this edge. Kind of pop the fender flares a little bit. And uh, the front bumper, of course. Now I've taken the grill out. And I have that prepped out. Uh, the grill is going to go also Herculine. So I'll have that nice Jeep look to it. And the paints come off these. So I figure, you know, I'm going to go ahead and Herculine these. I think those will look pretty good and they'll kind of be all black and extend the, the window back a little bit. So. Anyways, that's the plan, so stay tuned. All right, just uh, got through squirting the grill. This is a, uh, a molding piece in the back that was kind of scarred up in the cargo bay, so I decided to, uh, to do that as well.
came out pretty nice. So I'm gonna let these sit here and bake in the sun and dry. It's got a really cool metallic to it. It's got a little bit of sparkle to it, I like it. I think it's really gonna look nice. What I did, I just sanded this down with a random orbital palm sander with 180. And then I wiped it down with acetone, scuffed the edges with a scuff, scuff pad, wiped it down really good to get the oil off it with acetone and a clean rag, a uh, lint-free rag, and then went over it with a tack rag. You can get tack rags at the uh, paint store or the hardware store. Unfold your tack rag all the way. Completely unfold it and then crumple it up and it'll pick up the, uh, the ultra fines a lot better that way. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm really anxious to get started on the side trim and the, uh, the bumpers. I really think this is going to come out nice. <laughs> out. Took a while up in the front. Had a lot of chips to feather out. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and wash the entire vehicle. Has a lot of dirt and dust on it. And uh, as soon as it's dry, I'm going to start bagging this thing up and uh, get ready to squirt it. Stay tuned.
Well, finally got the parts reinstalled and came out really nice. Very pleased with it. Whoop, sorry about that. Nice clean lines. Trick is you want to pull at 180 degrees back over itself the tape and do it before the uh, paint sets up all the way. This Herculiner is pretty thick and uh, if you wait you're going to wind up, there's a chance you're going to wind up with a ragged edge. It's a nice clean line there. I went ahead and blew color into the uh, wheel wells. It took me about three and a half cans for this entire project. Real happy with it, it's real clean. Came out real nice really sets the uh, really sets the vehicle off I've never seen anybody do their fender flares like that so I want to do something different I like to do uh, unique things oh I just realized I didn't unmask my fog lamps up in the front Masking was the most time-consuming part out of this whole thing. I'm going to use some mirror glaze on the paint and uh, hand buff all that out. I'm losing my light, so I'll just have to wait and do that on another day. I'm a man who never has enough. Never has enough hours in a day. It's Herculiner. It comes in a 15 ounce can. It's about $12 a can. But uh, it'll spray the entire can right down to where there's no uh, product left. And uh, this was my uh, assistant today. So got into my lunch that I sat down and uh, when I wasn't looking. So sneak attack my lunch. Anyways, Herculiner, and uh, real pleased with the project. Well, I hope all of you enjoyed the episode as much as I did making it today. Please like, subscribe, and share. I hope all of you are having an outstanding day or night, depending on where you're located. And I will see all of you very soon on the next one, and I'll be in the high country real soon. Back to bushcrafting. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.